we are the soul to us. All right, guys, so we are getting ready right now to make our green quarantine gnarly juice. I just cut up some apples. We got some kale here. We got all of our herbs, and we got a half a lemon. We got some uh, ginger. I'm not using the whole thing. I just break it up, um, and we got some turmeric. start with our base first. Our base is always going to be your kale and you're going to do a bundle of it. This is for a 16 ounce juice. We're going to run it through again because I want to get all the pulp of the juice out and I just want all of that nutrients in my stomach man. So let's go. Let's get going. You want to wash your hand after this because it's kind of all over you. That's okay. There we go. And boom. Okay, so after you do your kale, you're gonna do your uh, either your apples or your parsley and all of your bundle of herbs. This has parsley, cilantro, and some dill. So good, guys. Look at it. Okay, so um, it doesn't matter where you start off. I think this this is parsley. So let's start with parsley. So the difference between um, this juice and the other juice is that you have a lot more herbs and I have seen such a huge significance in juicing more herbs and oh my god, it smells so good right now. So this is gonna be your cilantro. It's super gnarly, so um, if you're not used to cilantro or dill, just take it out, but you're not gonna get the best benefits from it. Now we're gonna do our apples, okay? But don't do a whole apple. It makes it way too sugary. That's why sometimes I do coconut water because uh, it just kind of blends all of it together. You can also do water too, but not my thing. Alrighty, so watch that. Mm. Make sure you grab all the leaves. Herbs are so good, and if you aren't able to um, juice it yet, just you know, give it a couple of months of you juicing with the Everyday Greens juice, and you will be good to go. It is just, oh, it's amazing how much your body um, starts to recognize flavors and smells, and oh my goodness, so good. Okay, let's do our lemon, our ginger, and our garlic. I do a little bit of ginger, and then a little bit more of the turmeric. Or not garlic, I don't know why I said garlic. You can do garlic, actually, but not in this juice. Okay, and then finish off with your lemon. Okay, your last step, I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut water. Watch this, it's so good. Take any kind of coconut water. We like this one. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Just add like this much of the coconut water. The reason why I don't add too much is because I don't want it too liquidy. Because then I have to drink more and more, right? Okay? So sometimes I like a really potent juice and then just drink it really fast and then have like um, a snack after that. So I don't. So I, a, so I don't have it on an empty stomach because it's not good on an empty stomach. So beware. So your last step, and I always do this, is I, um, I run it through again because it's kind of stuck in the middle right here. There's so many things you can do with pulp. Um, you can make it into apple bread or any other type of bread, just kind of depending on what you want to do. You can also eat it raw. I love it raw. Um, I juiced broccoli raw the other day and I had the pulp. Oh, it was so good. So yeah. Okay, so let's run it through again, okay? So you're gonna take it, Release your pulp so you have another one, okay?
I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Um, and I hope you guys try this at home and you just let me know how magical it is for your system because I've seen so much difference in my body and how much it's changed just by adding more cilantro and adding dill and more parsley into my juice. And look at the little boy drinking mama's kale juice. Wow.